Hey guys, how are you today? All right, so I have another sort of a project share um, in another one of the black cases from American Science and Surplus. Like with the other video for the little glue book, I will put a link for the case in the description below. Uh, American Science and Surplus is a great way, place to get little weird odd little bits um, for your arts and crafts needs, including storage. So I had two of these cases and I, I'm actually going to get a few more. They do still have them because I love the way this turned out so much. Alright, so I am getting ready to go on another trip. This time we're going to Alaska, my husband and I. And I want to pack a lot lighter than I did for the Las Vegas trip. Not because I don't want to bring art supplies with me. I always bring art supplies with me. But I don't want to bring tons like I did to Las Vegas where it was mainly an art thing. This is mainly a vacation for my husband and I that I'm going to do a little bit of art on the side for. So um, I am going to bring two journals and they're going to be separate from the art supplies that I bring. I always bring my watercolor notebook and this is one that I do paintings, little paintings in every time we go somewhere. So I'll definitely be bringing this with me. And then my binder that I'm using to document my year. This is the second of what will be, I think, four of them. And this one's for April, May, and June. So this will come with me. And this binder has pockets on the inside, uh, front and back cover. So if I have some things I want to bring that don't fit somewhere else, uh, in here, which we'll talk about in a minute, then I can I can put them in here. Like if I want to bring some uh, large, um, like tags or something like that, um, I've got a piece of deli paper here and a couple of clips that I'm going to leave on there, and that'll work just fine. So those and those will fit in my backpack. I have a cute little sack roots backpack that I bring with me, and these will fit in there nicely with my iPad and my Kindle. And then this is the other one of the two little journal cases that I made out of this black patent case from American Science and Surplus and using the Tim Holtz binder rings and the binder ring punch that goes with it. I have this thing for binder punches. <laughs> so if I buy a new planner or binder that has a special punch, <laughs> I almost always have to have the punch, just FYI. It's a little quirky thing about me. Now these binder rings come with brads, <clears throat> and I opted not to use the brads, so I'm going to save the brads because I'll use them for something else. And I'll show you what I did. Just like with the other one, I glued and stitched the binder rings in, and if you want to see exactly how I did that, let me know. And I have more of these cases and more obviously more binder rings so I can show you on camera how I did it exactly but I stitched it at the top and bottom with some strong thread and then I put glue on the thread on the inside and outside and underneath on the back of the binder rings I put some E6000 so it's glued to the case and stitched to the case okay so when I'm traveling ultra light with my art supplies you it's really a matter of bringing the bare minimum. Something to write with, something to color with, something to glue and or tape and paper. Like really the bare bare minimum. So we'll go over what I have in here, why I have it in here, what I kind of wish I could bring but I'm not going to because there's no room because everything that is not a journal has got to fit in this case. All right so I took some of the index card tab dividers that I had. They're made out of like file folder material. And I got them in something that I got at Staples. It might have been my Distress Ink boxes. I store my Distress Inks in these, and it, they might have come in here. Nope, see, they didn't either. They are too big. So I don't know what I got them in or with. I, I bought something that had a bunch of these in it, and I took them all out and saved them. I've had them for a long time. You probably can buy them at the office supply store. I don't know. And then I took some postcard sized pieces of water, hot, uh, cold press watercolor paper and I punched all of them with the Tim Holtz binder punch for these rings and put them in here. Then in the double pocket section on the left side, um, just sitting loose in the top, I have a glue stick. 
I have my travel watercolor case. Now I do have a smaller one, but I decided right away that if I could fit this larger one in here, I was going to bring it because it's got more colors in it. Uh, this is a mixed case with Koi and Daniel Smith. And this is the one that generally travels with me. It does have a small pocket Winsor Newton travel brush in it. And when I'm traveling, just in case, not that it really needs it, but I always put a rubber band just in case so that as it's being jostled, it doesn't open and have the cakes cr crack and go everywhere. Um, I picked a minimum number of pens. So I've got just a black ballpoint. I've got one of my new favorite pens, a Pilot Varsity. This is a black um, disposable fountain pen. I've got a My Pigma Micron 01, a Uniball Signo in white, and a Faber-Castell Pit Pen in fine. And they all fit right here. And then I have two little small glassine bags. Um, one of them has, and they're in the bags because not only I have a bag if I need it, but it makes these easier to get in and out of the pocket without having the tape rip. So this is a, just a piece of packaging acrylic and I've wrapped a bunch of dispo, um, double stick tape to it. And then I have put paper clips to keep the double stick tape wrapped nicely around the acrylic. That does two things. Keeps the tape from coming off and getting stuck to the bag. Also gives me paper clips to paper clip things into my journal with. Um, so um, double duty there. So I have this one. And then I have this one which is basically the same thing but this is covered with washi tape. And these two bags will sit right here in this pocket. And then this glue stick sticks it right there. And then when you flip this over, in the little zipper pouch that's in here, I have kind of a lot of stuff stuffed in here. So I've got two water brushes with um, a fine and a medium nib or tip. These are actually a pair of scissors that I actually got at the Tokyo Discount store, or yeah, Tokyo Discount in Las Vegas. Aren't they cool? They're not the best scissors on the planet, but they're great for this for traveling. I've got a regular two number two pencil. This is actually an Ikea pencil that came home with me by mistake. <laughs> Oops. And a small nib of a Stabilo All pencil. And then this little thing that looks like a fat credit card is actually a set of mini color pencils with a mini color pencil sharpener and a little eraser. I got this at um, the Japanese bookstore. I've got a mister, some wax paper, a little journal to do my daily drawings in. Um, this will be the one that I use for May. And then there's a um, pocket back here with a snap on it. And in here I've got some stickers. And these are clear plastic sticker pockets. This is a pocket, but it's a sticker back. Which I love to put those in the journal, um, the binder journal, to just put like tickets for things in and stuff like that. So all of this stuff fits really nicely like here. I do want to add a small, like inexpensive, teeny um, pencil sharpener. Um, and there is enough room for me to, you know, pop it in like right there. But this little bag, this is it. I could actually just bring this and not bring one of the um, binders or journals. And this bag measures and this is, so this is small. I could bring this. Compared to what you all saw me pack for the Las Vegas trip, this is a lot smaller than what I normally bring. Um, this bag measures about 7 by 5, and it's about an inch and a half deep. 
Um, so it makes a nice little travel case. You can get just enough in it to do some art while you're gone. Quick little sketches, watercolors, something like that. And, um, and some paper and everything else. And you could actually just leave you know, the pages or whatever you create in here and keep this and stuff it full of your receipts and things and have it be sort of a, you know, memento or a memory um, case of your trip. You could write on the outside when you get home, you know, Alaska or, you know, 2016 trip or something like that on the outside if you wanted. So there you go. There you have it. I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do. This is not my original idea. Shannon Green, as I said in the other video, had these cases. Sometime last year, she got these from American Science and Surplus. She had the binder ring. She put it together. She made a kind of a journal out of it also. I'll try to see if I can find her video. Um, after I saw her video, I realized I had all those same parts and I would do the same thing with. When I went to go film this uh, this month, this is April, uh, what is today? April, <laughs> I don't even know, 14th. Um, I checked American Science and Surplus, they still had these. So there you go. And the binder rings and the Tim Holtz punches are currently on sale right now at Joann's Fabrics. Um, but you can also use a 40% off coupon and both of these items are carried by Joann's and I believe Michael's. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out, have a great day, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye.